social media is a subtle barometer of public sentiment. For example, recently there have been increasing reports that stray dogs have gathered in packs, attacking people, including small children, and causing serious injuries. Almost immediately a heated debate erupts in the comments. Opinions are polarized, mutually exclusive. Users are divided, in fact, into two irreconcilable camps. Some demand the capture and extermination of such animals, while others, on the contrary, defend them and assert that people should be held accountable. But even this is not all, you can often see such pocket-spoiled dogs, which prefer to be carried in their arms, called by diminutive and tender names, somehow I can't bring myself to say names, to be kissed and to show that they are treated in the same way as little children. Indeed, several years ago, the author came across a study conducted across the ocean. The topic is relevant, to find out the true attitudes of owners toward pet dogs. The results were stunning, about a third of the young mothers surveyed confessed that they loved their dogs more than their own children. This is serious. Dogs and people, there's a relationship here. Of course, some readers will exclaim what about the evidence? The special relationship between people and dogs has always interested science. Here's a link to a study. It was explained simply, when owners interact closely with their pets, petting, cuddling, etc., the same hormones are produced as when parents interact with young children. We are talking about the happiness hormone oxytocin. Released, the hormone gives feelings of harmony, satisfaction, own necessity. Confidence strengthens, a person wants to do good deeds, he becomes inclined to altruism. So if you, dear readers, seriously feel yourself as a parent of your pets, know it is proved by science. Hormones are to blame. But why is it so? Here we can philosophize for a long time. For example, the more I get to know people. Perhaps there is some truth in it, times are tough, you can expect any ambush from people including loved ones. Dogs, on the other hand, are always sincere in their love. Here is another interesting study published in the journal Society and Animals. A large group of adults was selected to participate in the experiment, let's remember again the controversy in social networks. All people are different, all have their own attitudes, views on life, etc. So the participants of the experiment were given fictional clippings from different newspapers with the following news, an assault was committed. Only the victims were different, a one-year-old child, an adult 30-year-old man, a puppy, and an adult six-year-old dog. After reading the horrible news, people were asked to respond as honestly as possible as to which of the designated victims they felt most sincerely and most. As you might expect, the majority of respondents felt sorry for the child. And now for the sensation, in second place, and by a small margin, was the adult dog. We conclude, modern society has turned its face toward animals and their problems. The talk about people's special love for dogs is no idle speculation. Pets are long revered as full-fledged family members, while stray dogs are widely sympathetic. What can I add? A dog is a lifelong love dog person is a state of mind. Let us not condemn those who overhumanize their pets. Everyone has their own truth, and everyone has come to their pet in their own way. Let's just note that the process of owning and maintaining a dog is in itself a fascinating and addictive. A bonus is a number of benefits, physical activity, the ability to speak out, someone to take care of, someone to caress and pet. Thus, to give the opportunity to release the best and kindest feelings accumulated in you. A dog is warmth, love, loyalty, devotion and sincerity. You can safely confide in your beloved dog a deepest secret, tell your most terrible personal secret. Be sure the pet will not post your secret the next morning's contact. Hence the special relationship. A kind attitude toward pets is projected by many on feral dogs as well. We are not going to touch their problems in this publication, it's too serious a question. But we will make a useful conclusion, the dog is a real member of your family. And one that brings huge and tangible benefits. Used material, why do I love my dog more than I love anyone else? Source, cuteness.com Translated with www.dpel.com slash translator, free ver